If you enjoy cats as much as I do, let me introduce you to my cat, Prince. I really do love my cat, and I think you will enjoy this Laurel Birch inspired lunette shaped cat panel that I recently completed and installed in a client's home. It's Bowles translucent glass and the transparent water glass that I used in this project really allows for the morning sunlight and the evening moonlight to come through this client's window. And I'm sharing with you how I built this custom cat panel. With that, let's get started. Sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Hey everyone, Steve here. I'm in the studio. I'm here to share with you this Laurel Birch inspired lunette cat panel window that I recently just completed and installed into a client's home. But before we get started with that, if you're new to the channel, on this channel I hope to inspire others to enjoy the beauty of stained glass, learn tips, tricks, and techniques so that you can create your own stained glass artwork. I also do want to mention that I have created a Discord server channel and I would love for all of you to join the community. Check out the link in the description below. It is a new server, so I need your help to build this community. We will be able to discuss all types of art and other topics in the text channels. There are also voice chat rooms and this will be the hangout after the live streams for any additional questions if I didn't answer it during the stream or missed the question. You'll be able to get notified and catch me in the live in the studio room when I'm in the studio working on different projects. So come join the server and help me build a community of art lovers and friends. Now let's get into the Lunette cat panel. Okay the first step in of the big pattern like this is really cutting out all your pieces. Um, this is the cat panel that we are doing. And this is a 30, uh, 36 by 18 uh, half moon. And as you can see, I've got several pieces already cut out. And then the remaining is cutting out the rest of the cat itself. So we will go ahead and uh, cut this out. I'm actually using pattern shears. Um, this will actually cut out along those lines with just enough uh, spacing for the foil. I'm using uh, Tiffany method for this uh, because it is going to be an interior window. It's not going to be exposed to any weather. And it will be a little bit uh, easier as far as um, weight wise. Uh, it, it will come out just a little bit uh, lighter. So with that, we'll go ahead and get all these pieces cut out. Okay, now that we have all the pieces cut out, uh, our next step is to actually separate them by color uh, based off our color map here. Um, I do on the side of me, I have a actual numbered pattern of the uh, a piece so that way I can correspond the numbers. Ideally, you would wanna go ahead and put the numbers on your colored one as well so that it makes it a little bit easier. Okay, all these are by color so this is the white model glass this is the yellow sun this is the orange flames on the sun this is the green uh, hill and then this is all the red of the cat this is the turquoise of the cat and then this is the orange uh, translucent or transparent glass of the cat and then all this is the blue sky over here so now we'll be ready to place all of these pieces onto our glass. Okay, uh, now we're ready to actually transfer our patterns onto our glass. Um, so now our first piece is going to be actually the moon. I'm using a piece of white model glass 
uh, to create some definition in the moon so when the light's behind it, it'll kind of look like crater. So either during the day or at night, if there's some light shining through, you'll kind of see the craters kind of that the moon has. So kind of uh, making that adjustment here for this particular piece. Um, it was something that the customer kind of wanted. So um, I was able to find this glass that will kind of resemble that. So we're just going to glue this onto our glass so that's step one and then we'll continue on gluing on the rest of these pieces onto our sheets of glass and then we'll come back and we'll cut them out Our next step is cutting our glass. Now here I'm doing an inside curve and you want to make sure that you do your primary score mark first and then you'll see I come back with several different score marks throughout the uh, interior which will make it a little bit easier to get the glass out. Now I do go and do some tapping along all my score marks because model glass can be a bit stubborn so you just want to make sure you good do some good tapping along those score marks and then you're able to come back with your grossing pliers and be able to pull those individual pieces out Now continue cutting out the moon by making a score mark all the way up from top to bottom. Do some tapping and then it breaks. Then you can finish scoring the other pieces, making your outline and then come back and break those pieces out. Now that we have all our pieces cut out, now we're ready to grind. Here you want to make sure that you just run your pieces along your grinder bit just to get all the little burrs and to smooth everything out so that when you're ready to foil, the foil will adhere to the edges of your glass. Now we'll just go ahead and speed through some grinding. Before we do the dry fit, I want to share with you the template that I made to test fit the actual panel into the window to ensure I got a nice tight fit when I actually brought the window over. All right, I have my pattern laid out on my cardboard and I'm going to actually cut a template out from this uh, to the exact measurements of the window and then I will actually take it over to the customer's house and size it up against that uh, half round window just to make sure that everything's going to fit perfectly and I know that this is the exact dimensions that I'm going to need. This is just a check in the process that I do uh, when it comes to an exact fit into a window that I need to have. So I'll cut it around the outside there and then we'll have that as my template.
Now a template like this really does help ensure that you have a good fit into the area that you have to fit the panel in. Now let's move on to the dry fit. Here's the dry fit of the panel that we're going to foil, solder, patina, and put an edge on in the next video. Well, if you liked that video, be sure to hit that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. In the next video, we'll complete the project and I'll also share some footage of the install itself. With that, I'll see you on the next video. Now stay tuned for the next video coming up on your screen. Bye for now.